Okay folks, I'm going to bring you into my inner sanctum here. This is what I do for a job. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I wish to show you how to sharpen knives. Uh, yes, I have lots of electronic equipment here. I repair computers and electronics and motherboards. Uh, I try to prevent them going into landfill, considering that this is a uh, a gardening channel. Knives are important. All right, we'll get uh, past this and go to the next uh, phase. Okay, guys, this is where I usually make uh, my computer videos, my electronic videos. Um, if you're interested, I can uh, point you towards uh, where those videos are. But today's video is about knives. Now, I've got three different kinds of knives here. One is a Japanese folded knife. Uh, it's a very expensive knife. Uh, as far as I know, it's been folded well, 100 and something amount of times. Hence the the mottling etc on here. Now this one is just a cheap knife. It's easy, and I'll get to the sharpeners that I'm that I have available to me later. But uh, this sharp knife, uh, this cheap knife, uh, happens to be the sharpest at the moment because I can just run it through a sharpener and uh, it works very well and I have a bone handled knife here that's very old I have a lot of bone handled knives these are actually uh, made from uh, old stainless steel they are amazing uh, when you sharpen them properly you can only sharpen these ones on a stone so uh, let's have a look there. I'll just switch over to the microscope and let's see what we have here. Now, this is the bone handle knife. And you can see the very edge and how rough it is. Now, let me see if I can get it even better. Yep, so if I go further away, you can even see it there. And you can see how actually how rough the edge is here. So there you go. You can see the two different kinds of sharpening there, which is a, a really great way to show you. Linear, that's through when you drag it through the sharpener, and these ones are. Uh, uh, when you sharpen them on a stone or something similar. Now let's have a look at another knife. So that's the bone handle knife I just we've just looked at. And you've seen the edge and the two different ways that it's been sharpened. Alright, so let's look at the uh, this normal kitchen knife. And don't get me wrong, these work very well. Okay, so you can see the manufacturing process here, where all of the the um, sharpening process is uh, at right angles to the blade, and you can see how I've been sharpening it uh, because it's quick and easy with a drag method, and you can see the jagged edges. Now this knife is quite sharp. Okay, so let's go to the next knife now. Uh, this explains a lot, doesn't it? You can see that this knife is being made differently, totally differently. You can see that there's not much edge on it. Let me try and focus even better. So you can see how I've uh, sharpened it before with a stone and the angles are evident. 
if you look at the very edge, and that's the important part, the chamfer is very uh, obtuse. It's very, very sharp. In other words, the chamfer should be up here somewhere. So back outside, I'm going to show you, uh, well, you've seen the knives. Now these are the two that I'm interested in. Okay, uh, that's the paring knife and that's the, the kitchen knife, I guess you could call them. These ones here, easy enough, and they work really well. I'll just put it on here because it'll stick. This is a, a clever sharp sharpener, and you understand what goes on there. And it, you know, it, that's hell sharp enough, you've got to watch your fingers, you know. Uh, I wonder if I can get a bit of paper and show you. I've been doing a bit of testing because, you know, I don't want to be a failure. Yeah, Lisa's laughing again. I was laughing at something else. Uh, so, you know, and this isn't your normal paper. This is some receipt from Bunnings and that's what I think of receipts. Well, doesn't matter. So, but I'll tell you, that's, you don't want them too sharp. If I give a knife like this to Lisa and she slips, I might end up with uh, one less finger. Hopefully it's the middle one. No, just joking. I'm really joking. Anyway, but they're sharp enough. But these, um, I'll just discard that. So let's go through the sharpness, well, all the stones that I've got. Now, uh, oh, this one first. Um, this is how you use it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, no light now. Anyway, it, it's really of no consequence. Hope you can zoom in on that. Yeah. Really of no consequence because, really, it's bloody useless. <laughs> Try sharpening a knife, darling. Well, that's better. You're not going to cut the I hope that helps anyway. I'm no expert at this. Uh, I've just learned by myself and I've probably got a long way to go considering um, the experts. But uh, the principles are there. Anyway, 
Time for another beer.